Hi everyone, I hope you're all well. Today's video is going to be a beauty favourites. I haven't done an exclusive beauty favourites video in quite a while and there's been quite a few things that I've really been enjoying that I thought I would talk you through, tell you why I like them. It might give you some present buying inspiration. I've got hair, body, skincare, and a bit of makeup. Okay, let me start with makeup. My makeup routine is pretty speedy these days. I do still do my makeup on days when I'm just looking after Grey, just because I really enjoy doing it, it makes me feel good. She likes sitting on my lap and doing my makeup with me, but it does mean that I keep it very simple. And for some reason, I just don't feel like complete without a bit of eyeshadow on. It's always been that way for me. Without eyeshadow, if I just wear mascara, it just doesn't look right for me. So I always like a little bit of something. And I have to admit there have been days where I've just used the brush and like whatever's left on it, which is a bit gross, but it, it really does the trick. But the two products that I've really been enjoying for like, if you want to look like you've got something on your lid, but you don't want to look like you put loads of makeup on because you're literally just going to the playground. These are my current favorite everyday subtle eye products. This one is from Bobbi Brown and I've been looking for the perfect camely cream eyeshadow for quite a while and this ticks all the boxes. So it's one of their cream shadow sticks. This came I think in an edit. I think it was This Is Mothership that did like a Bobbi Brown edit of their favourite products. The colour is taupe. It's one of their long wear cream shadow sticks. This is so easy if you just want to do your makeup really really quickly because I literally just like colour it on my lid and then just smush it in either with my finger or with a brush. And it's just the perfect like camely taupe. It's not glittery, it's not shimmery, it's not too kind of warm and orange and it's not too pale for my skin tone. This is just my perfect brown eyeshadow. So I'm really happy I found that, really enjoying using that. And then the other one is a recommendation from Anna. She's been talking about this for such a long time. It was sold out for a while and I managed to get my hands on one. You know, we're like best mates. So I always know if she's gonna like something, I'm probably gonna like it too. We're forever giving each other recommendations. It's from Giorgio Armani and it hasn't got a name on it. There's just no way I'm gonna remember the name. It's a liquid eyeshadow. Don't be scared by the fact it's a liquid shadow because it's not scary. It's really easy to use. I don't actually love the applicator. It's like one of those teardrop shaped applicators. And I find that you don't get much product on it, but that also kind of works in your favor if you don't want to overdo it. So I tend to just kind of swipe a bit on my eye and it gives you just a little bit of product and then just blend it in with a brush or you can use your finger. And I guess the only difference between these two I feel like a liquid shadow lasts longer because it almost sets. Um, it's like this sheer wash of color that sets and stays put all day. Whereas I think a cream product is more likely to kind of crease and move around your lid a bit, especially if you have any sort of oiliness there. So if you want something a bit more longer lasting then go for the Giorgio Armani. If you're not that bothered, then go for the Bobbi Brown, but both are very similar warm camely brown shades, which is what like my preference for an eyeshadow. And these have both been fab. You can also build them up as well if you want a more intense look. Okay, should we move on to skincare? These are, they look really gimmicky. I mentioned these in the podcast. Me and Anna have a podcast called At Home With. If you don't already know, we have one episode that goes up a week and it's just really nice and chilled. It's like listening to two friends catch up. Nothing too intense. I mentioned these. The brand is called Starface and the product is called Hydro Stars. It looks really gimmicky and I just wanted to give them a go. So I bought some and I'm really impressed actually. So they come in this little like plastic box that has a mirror. Don't think you really need the mirror because I tend to put these on in the bathroom anyway. And then you can just buy the refills. And they're basically little stickers for your spots. So they are stars. You can obviously buy plain ones, just clear ones, which would work much better if you're out and about and you want to wear these if you work around other people. But if you're just at home or if you want something a bit more like fun looking, then these are, they're quite funny. Gray finds it hilarious when I'm wearing one of these on a spot. Basically when I feel a spot coming, I pop one of these on the spot. I tend to just leave it on overnight. And it's got, it's 100%, oh my God, I knew I was gonna forget the name. 100% hydrocolloid. So it really just like, I find that, I said this on the podcast, it takes a spot from like day one to day five and it kind of misses out the middle bit where it starts going 
like gross and pussy and sore and it just stops the spots getting like that i've been getting really spotty since i've been off the pill and wearing masks more often so i've just been like adjusting my skincare to more spot prone skin and i think these have been really great i would definitely purchase some more refills in the future also to keep my spots at bay i have been using another Anna recommendation she's very heavily influenced this video the allies of skin promise keeper blemish sleeping facial this is my second tube she left me a voice note and she was like just stop using everything else and just use this at night and make it the only thing you use and that's what i've been doing it is expensive but it works so as long as it works i'm happy to spend that it's got a little concoction of ingredients here but my skin which you guys know is a little bit kind of eczema prone hasn't reacted to this badly at all i just wash my face at night and I kind of layer this on, leave it on overnight and wash it off in the morning. And it's definitely, definitely been helping my skin, which is starting to get a little less spotty now. This next product is really cool. I was sent this and I've never used a solid cleanser before, like a solid cleansing bar. This is from CeraVe. I love the brand CeraVe. I use the SA cleanser and moisturizer. Um, what else have I used from them? body products i think just really nice like gentle products that i know my skin won't react badly to it's like a brand i really trust now this is the hydrating cleanser bar hydrating cleanser bar for dry to normal skin so it comes in this little cardboard box and i've been using this to store it which i think is a bit gross i need to get myself like a nice little soap dish oh maybe i'll add that to my birthday list is that a really lame thing to ask for for your birthday Anyway, it's, it looks like a bar of soap, but it's a cleanser for your face. So I literally just run it under water, lather it up in my hands. You actually don't need that much, so it's going to last me such a long time. And then cleanse my face with it. And it does remove makeup, which is amazing. And it feels really nice on the skin. The first couple of times I used it, I wasn't sure if my skin felt a little bit like... I wanted it to feel more hydrated. It felt a little bit like I needed to put serum on quickly. But actually, I think my skin's starting to adjust to it now. And I'm not sure if this is the perfect cleansing bar ever, but it's definitely made me realise that I would like to try some more solid cleansers. Obviously, a really great way to save on packaging because I go through my Clinique cleansers like once a month and they're in plastic tubs so yeah that made me really excited about solid cleansers definitely something to look into actually if you guys recommend any um you know not things like lush my skin will not react well to kind of anything highly fragranced but i'm sure there are lots out there i'm so thirsty today i actually recently did some work with cow shed you guys know i am such a a massive fangirl of cow shed if you don't live near a spa and you've never been to one you probably won't understand the hype because i feel like even if you try the products until you've been to a cow shed spa and had a cow shed treatment you don't become like fully obsessed like i am but if you ever can get to one do it it's so worth it i just it's just my favorite spa ever and their products are just so luxurious and amazing anyway i was so so honored to be able to do uh work with them for their christmas collection and part of that was this winter christmas diffuser and i love how it looks i love that it's got all the black which is a bit different to the other ones i have from like white company which i think have like silver bits around them so it looks really nice in your bathroom if you've never had one of these before how it works is that these sticks the kind of oil at the bottom the fragrance soaks into them and then it gently lets off the scent into the room so instead of having to spray something or to light a candle all you have to do is leave this in the room and it will very gradually let off like this really lovely scent and it lasts for a really long time as well and if you find that it's like stops working as well you can just turn the sticks upside down so this one oh it's so nice we've had this in our downstairs toilet which is a really small room so it works really well in there and it looks nice smells great and i love it, it smells very festive also from cow shed this is my second bottle the relax calming bath and body oil when i was pregnant i was using they've got like a special bubble bath that's pregnancy safe and i miss using like essential oils and stuff in my bath so i rarely get to have a bath these days i just find that i don't really have as much time for it but when i do or even in the shower basically you can use this like in the shower just on your dry skin or in your bath so there's so many different ways you can use it um, and it's just such a treat 
I love it so much. This one has essential oils of lavender, eucalyptus, and chamomile. So it's a very sleepy, relaxing scent. Whenever I go to Cowshed and they ask like, what scent do you want us to use? Because if you have a massage, they ask you which one you want. They're like, do you want uplifting? Do you want relaxing? I always go for relaxing. Like I just love that kind of sleepy scent. So nice. That would be, I think this one comes in like a, a set for Christmas. Also, I treated myself to this. I'm obviously in the mood for like having really like over the top luxurious showers and baths at the moment. But I got this from Space and Kane. It's the Byredo Blanche. Blanche? <laughs> Uh, body wash. I love the packaging. It looks beautiful in the shower. Oh my god, I caught Rich using this. I was like, are you joking? Absolutely not. This is not one for sharing. Um, this has scents in it that actually I wouldn't normally pick. Wait a minute, I got it up on the website. Fresh floral notes with the heart of neroli, peony and violet and base notes of blonde woods musk and sandalwood so that's really not something i would normally go for but the reason i picked it is because it smells clean oh my god this smells oh my god this smells exactly like the steamery delicate wash which is also something i recommended in our podcast um, they sent me their special delicate wash and we've been using it on delicate clothes and on gray's clothes and it smells amazing i just love coming out of the shower and smelling clean. And I know that's ridiculous, but you don't always smell cleaner. I think it really depends on what the actual shower gel you use. It just smells like laundry detergent, but in like the best way possible. Oh my God, it's amazing. That also would be a really nice gift because unless you're mean, you're really extravagant. It's not really something you buy for yourself because it's expensive, but it's such a treat to use, not one to share with your husband. I've got a few hair products to recommend as well. Earlier in the month, I had a really, really dry scalp. I think it was a mix of having um, like my hair chemically straightened, but also when the weather changes, because I'm a bit eczema prone, I often get a really dry scalp, but this was like worse than ever. I was having like chunks of massive flakes of like my scalp coming out of my hair. And I think this was like a night before a photo shoot that I did with John Lewis. And I was like, oh my God, this is a nightmare. So I can't guarantee that it was these products that fixed it because I did everything in one go. I literally slathered my scalp in olive oil and coconut oil and I also then washed it the next day with these products. But I do really highly recommend this brand so I'm pretty sure that it was to do with this. It's from a brand called Sasha Juan. <laughs> Sashwan, I never know how to say this brand. It's a Swedish brand. They do really nice products and this is their scalp shampoo and conditioner. Again, I did a little Googling just so I could like tell you guys what is in these products and why they work. It's got special like antifungal stuff in it, which is gross, but it's not as intense. It's not as kind of toxic as the sort of products you would get in like a pharmacy. So it's a bit more gentle and delicate, which is what I wanted for my hair. It's got rosemary oil, menthol, salicylic acid, so that's key, and ginger extract. It worked. I think it was these products. I also think having like olive oil and coconut oil and very hydrating stuff on your scalp will work, but I think these really did the job. So I would definitely recommend those. And then a couple more things from hair. You guys know like I had massive hair loss after having gray. I actually didn't really notice it at the time. Like my hair always falls out because I've got curly hair. I don't brush it that often. I only brush it when it's wet. So I feel like my hair's always falling out a bit. I didn't really notice it. But the regrowth after having a baby, I mean, look at this. Guys, if you've also recently had a baby, just know you are not alone. I've got hair like that all the way around my hairline. It's crazy i literally can't tie my hair up in a ponytail so when i do tie it up when i go to bed because i can't sleep with my hair down i don't know if that's just me being weird i try not to use hair bands that are gonna like tug at the hair and rip it and like it's already quite damaged so i've been using these from silk i think the brand is and they're silk scrunchies um actually they're not even scrunchies they're just like hair bands i would say they don't stop your hair from kinking like if you're gonna if you're worried about that i don't think these work for that but they are much more gentle on the hair and they don't kind of grip and like pull the hair at all so i've been using those i really like them this one came in a set you get a black one a pink one and a little leopard print so those are really nice and then the final product i went to hershison's to get my hair cut by a lovely guy called adrian probably one of the best haircuts I've had in a long time actually I really liked it 
and he used this on it when it was wet as a kind of heat protector. Again, I don't know why I'm really obsessed with scents at the moment, but the smell of it, I was like, what is that? I need it in my life. It smells like you're at a hair salon. You know that smell and you're just like, you wanna replicate it at home. It's very like floral, but fresh, like a really gorgeous, fresh hairdresser smell. Um, I haven't even told you what it is. It's from Kerastase and it's the Resurfacing Strengthening Milk Blow Dry Care for Damaged Hair. So I always use something on my hair before putting any heat on it. So when my hair's wet, I'll just run some of this through it. it smells amazing, makes me feel great. And then I will straighten, blow dry my hair, whatever. So this has been great. I've used so much of it and it feels like I haven't used any. You only need a tiny bit. So this is gonna last me forever, I think. That's everything. I don't know if I'm gonna do a yearly favorites this year. I always find it really hard to like think back and I feel like you guys always know what my favorites are anyway. But let me know if you like particularly want one of those videos or not. But this was fun. I really like chatting through all my beauty favorites. Um, hopefully you guys got some recommendations. I will link everything down below in the description box. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.